Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a delight to be here in your company, all of you. Um, so it's no secret that the greatest threat to the forces of domination and control in whatever form they take is the threat posed by stretching arms of solidarity across faith, religion, race, gender, nationality, ethnicity, stretching arms of solidarity reaching for each other. In my work co-resisting Israeli government rule of Palestinian lives and land, I live into and practice this value and hold it close. Just a few years ago, when I was set to travel to Palestine, Israel with an interfaith network of Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, and Muslims, I was stopped from boarding the plane by direction of the Israeli government because of my activism for freedom for Palestinians. There's great power in interfaith solidarity. One of the tools they wield so readily in response to divide our solidarity is by propagating the idea that we must fear each other, that we must isolate and insulate. That is then what they do by force if they cannot bend our will. They jail and incarcerate powerful cries for political freedom. The priest at Nand Baba Temple and Faisal Khan were engaged in an ancient sacred practice of hospitality. Just like Abraham, my ancestor in the Torah. In the book of Breshit, in the book of Genesis, we have the story of Abraham where upon encountering guests in his town, he offers them water to bathe their feet, to enter his tent. Woe to all who criminalize and fear such tender gestures, such core tenets of an ethical, free, just society. As we rally for Faisal Khan's freedom, we also celebrate and recommit to building these bonds of connection, of openness and hospitality as a vibrant form of resistance. Thank you. <laughs>